This HUD shows key information about the state of the locomotive while you are driving. The main display indicates the speed the train is traveling at. The dials on the right display brake system pressures. Along the bottom are the direction, throttle, and brake type indicators. Finally, the exclamation mark on the left is the safety warning indicator, known as the alerter. This will illuminate when something requires your attention and must be acknowledged. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and throttle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this into forward. To the left is the auto brake, which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Let's move this to release. about to move, so make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, safety first. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off nice and slow. Increase the throttle lever by one notch. To maintain a constant speed, move the throttle back to its idle position. While driving, you may wish to view the train from the outside. You can do this by switching to one of the many external cameras. Have a play with moving the camera around while the train is coasting along. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo.
Well done. You're now all set to explore Train Sim World. To learn more about railroad operations, you can trigger tutorials as you...